Welcome to the Aquaspresso Coffee Academy and today I'm going to be talking about which is the best Jura coffee machine for a small office. Okay, so I'm assuming you've decided on Jura and you have a small office. So now there's quite a few Juras in the range and I'm going to go through which are really the ones to look at and obviously each one has its pros and cons and from there you're going to have to decide which one is really the best one for you. So for a small office, you really, I see a lot of people looking at the inner range and the inner range is, is really intended for domestic, uh, for home use. And I've seen some people get away with it for offices, but the reason why it's not really a great choice is because the water tanks are tiny and water tanks being tiny, I'm talking about about a liter, um, which means maximum you can really get away with like five cups at, at a push. Um, and the other problem is that feature-wise, especially if you want the cappuccinos and lattes, they're not really intended there. They're really great for espressos. The other ones kind of extras that can do all the others, but they're a little bit of a pain in an office environment. So in a range of stages, not looking at. On the other side of things, you have really the fancy range, which is the, F, uh, the, the Z range, you have the Z9, you have the J range, you have the XS range. And those are awesome looking machines. But again, value for money and what you get, they really, you really should rather go for the F range, something within the F range. I'm going to go through the different options within there um, because they can do almost exactly the same as the fancy options at pretty much half the price. So within the F range is really three options. You have the F7, which I'm going to kind of rule out automatically because the F7 is about to be discontinued. So I'm going to rule, rule that out automatically. So you left with really the F8 and the F9. And the F8 and the F9 can do your whole bouquet of drinks, your espresso, your coffee, your cappuccino, your latte. Um, and they, they look almost identical. The shell of the machines are almost identical. The only real difference between those machines is that one, well, two really different, two, two differences. One, the F9 can do one nice little gimmicky but popular drink now being the a flat white. And the second thing, the F9 is a fully one-touch machine. So that means if you want a cappuccino or a latte at the touch of one button, F9 can do that. That's the machine for you. The F8 can do all those drinks, excluding the, the flat white, but it's at the touch of two buttons. So it sounds like a, an insignificant difference, and most times that is an insignificant difference, and one which I would rather then suggest going for the F8 because of. Um, but if you are having guests coming into your office, and they want to now use the machine by themselves and you don't want to kind of explain to them exactly what to do, um, the F9 is almost a must because the F8, as simple as it is, you know, being only a two-touch compared to a one-touch, it's not sim uh, simple enough for first-time operators and it's going to be a, a, a cause for a lot of frustration. Likewise, if you want to put in a boardroom and you want, again, first-time guests, external guests, not internal in your company, external guests to use the machine and it's most, most times the first time they're using the machine, and F9 is almost a must to go for. If those aren't your circumstances, if you don't have new people coming in to use the machine every day, I would say go for the F8. It's quite a lot cheaper. It's about 20, 10 to 20% less uh, than the F9. Um, and that would really, really be my core decision with which one I would go for. So I hope that helps. Hope you choose the right machine. Good luck. Thank you so much for watching. If you found it useful and helpful and you want to learn more, please subscribe now.